Unraveling Idioms, Understanding, Rattle One's Cage. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're going to dive into the colorful world of idiomatic expressions. Specifically, we're going to explore what it means to rattle one's cage. Idioms like this add flavor to our conversations and understanding them is key to mastering the English language. So, let's get started and unlock the secrets behind this intriguing phrase. When someone says they want to rattle one's cage, they are not talking about shaking an actual cage. Instead, this phrase is used metaphorically. To rattle one's cage means to do something that provokes or disturbs someone, usually in a way that elicits a reaction. It's like metaphorically shaking the cage to disturb the peace of the animal inside. In human terms, it's about pushing someone's buttons or disturbing their comfort zone. Understanding the origin of idioms can often help us remember their meanings. The phrase, rattle one's cage, likely comes from the imagery of rattling or shaking a cage to agitate the animal inside. This vivid imagery helps convey the idea of disturbing someone's peace or provoking them intentionally. Although the exact origin is not clear, its use in literature and speech has cemented its place in the English language. Let's see how this phrase is used in everyday conversation. 1. In the workplace, I didn't mean to rattle his cage, but I had to remind him about the deadlines. 2. In personal relationships, she knew how to rattle his cage by bringing up past arguments. 3. In public life, the new policy rattled a lot of cages, causing uproar among the community. Do's. Use this phrase to describe situations where someone is intentionally provoked or disturbed. Pair it with a clear context so your listeners understand the metaphor. Don'ts. Don't use it in formal situations. It's best suited for casual conversations. Avoid using it to describe gentle or friendly situations. It implies disturbance or provocation. And that's a wrap on the phrase rattle one's cage. Remember, idiomatic expressions like this are the spice of the English language, adding depth and color to our conversations. We hope this video rattled your learning cage in the best way possible and added something new to your linguistic repertoire. Keep practicing, and you'll be mastering these expressions in no time. See you in the next video.